Hi everyone and welcome to another Scrapbook Bakery video. I have received a lot of emails on how I created this miniature paper airplane and I wanted to show you uh, quickly how to fold one of these. You start with a 3x3 three three piece of white cardstock and you tilt it to make a diamond shape. You take the right corner and you fold it to the left corner to make a triangle. And then with the two flaps at the end, you're just going to take one of the flaps and fold it to the center fold. And then flip it over, take the flap, fold it in the center like so. And that will give you the paper airplane shape, but you'll notice that there's some excess on the end. So you just take that and open up the flaps and push that excess inside. When you do that, you close it up and you have your paper airplane shape just like on this card I created for sending you love. I also had another question on how I created the paper trail. Um, I just hand drew that and I used a, a marker called a souffle marker. It's from EK Success. And the reason I picked this one is the souffle marker will actually raise when it's dry and become a little bumpy, which gives it some dimension. Um, I also used some Hero Arts red gems. Um, to come out of the airplane to kind of give it a little bit more dimension of, of hearts flying out. And I also, it's hard to see, but I shaded some of the um, miniature paper airplane. And I did that by using a baby blue um, color pencil and just going around the edges. And when you um, mix that with using a product called Gamsol or even some water actually, you can blend that in real well and it will create a really soft, almost gray look. Um, I know it seems odd to use blue on white, but it will give it a great dimensional look on white cardstock. Uh, you can also use other things to put inside your airplane. Like here, I had some leftover stickers, so I just spelled out XOXO, and um, I'm gonna use this on a card, and the sentiment is going to be sending hugs and kisses. You could also, um, inside a paper airplane, put in some fun, colorful confetti on the inside pocket. And then when the recipient opens it, the confetti comes out and you could put as a sentiment, uh, sending you birthday wishes. So there's lots of possibilities and I appreciate your questions. So if you have any more, you can visit scrapbookbakery.com and hit blog. Thanks for watching.